When patients come to me after losing a significant amount of weight, it's very frustrating for them in that they've done all the work, they've lost all the weight, they've shed all the pounds, they've maintained that weight loss over a period of time, but yet they have all this skin that's going nowhere, no matter what they do. And that's where I come in. I can remove skin. I now have the privilege of taking that last step and really helping them reveal who they really are. A lot of my weight loss consultations involve several parts of the body, in which case it often takes a little more time to really thoroughly discuss not just the arms, not just the trunk, not just the chest or the thighs, but what can we do together and who's a good candidate for it and how many surgeries is this going to require and how much downtime is going to be required. A lot of patients come to me and say, I'd like to just have all this done at once. Well, that's not always the safest thing to do. So we'll often stage procedures and maybe do two or three different surgeries at one time. If you've had your arms and your legs operated on at the same time, imagine what are you gonna to use to pull yourself up with and what are you gonna to use to walk around with? So I think it's important to really consider, number one, first and foremost, what areas bother them the most, and then we can address those first, but let's really group procedures together that make sense. So it's very common in my practice to maybe address the trunk first and then move up to the chest and the arms together and then move down to the thighs. Sometimes they don't care so much about the trunk, they feel like they can hide that and so they want to address the face first. So maybe we'll combine the face with the arms and chest.